Roguelikes may be the most popular subgenre in gaming today, and if there's one game that exemplifies them, it's Dodge Roll's bullet hell shooter, Enter the Gungeon. Praised for its wide variety of guns, items, enemies, and bosses, Enter the Gungeon set the standard for what a shooty roguelike game can be. But with a game with this much content, of course some things are going to slip through the cracks when you play. So here are 10 things you missed in Enter the Gungeon. The game was published by Devolver Digital, but it wasn't always. Originally, Nintendo was going to publish the game, until they discovered that the game had a skeleton in it. Due to Nintendo's strict no-spooky policy, they handed the rights over to Devolver. Enter the Gungeon is a catchy name, but it wasn't the original name of the game. Dodge Roll originally wanted to go with the equally catchy name, Enter the Dungeon, what has a lot of guns and baby, you better believe there are enemies too. Okay, here comes video game now. The four starting playable characters are Convict, a Marine, a Pilot, and a Hunter. Doesn't that seem curious to you? That's right. As long suspected, they are meant to be stand-in for the Beatles. John Lennon, George Harrison, Paul McCartney, and Balsack, the Jaws of Death. Here's a fun story. Originally, you could not pet the dog. However, Twitter account Can You Pet the Dog accidentally got that to change purely by happenstance, and all that Can You Pet the Dog did was accidentally break into the programmer's house and hold a knife to their throat until they programmed it in. How's that for a viral campaign? Some of the guns, like the Mega Hand and the Hyper Light Blaster, have obvious origins. But what about the regular shotgun? That's right, it's based on the works of 17th century author and scholar Anna Maria von Sherman and her fondness for regular shotguns. The Gatling Gull is one of the most recognizable bosses in the game, due to its hilarious design and Metal Gear Solid references. But here's a fun fact, if you stare too long into its abs, you will suddenly know the one true name of God, and you will descend into a psychotic madness from the knowledge. Now that's an easter egg. Yeah. Numerous gamers have asked, just what does the Toggle for Beast Mode do? Well, if you're looking for that answer, we have it. Every time you toggle beast mode, it opens the garage door of a woman living in Russia. Incidentally, Miss Ivanov would like to remind people that her car has been stolen 189 times. If your curse level is too high, the Lord of the Jammed is summoned to follow you. But in a 10 Things You Missed exclusive, we have isolated an unused audio track to give us a peek into what is going through the Lord of the Jammed's mind. Let's listen in. There are multiple chests on every floor, between brown, blue, green, red, black, but there's an even rarer type of chest, the sarcophagus. When you open it, you are cursed in real life to a thousand years of unending pain and ceaseless torment. But you could get a good gun, so when you find it, it's definitely worth popping open. There is one question that is always on people's minds. Just how many guns are there in Enter the Gungeon? Well, we can finally answer your question. There is only one gun in the game, the Plague Pistol. Any other gun you may have picked up was just a hallucination. And now you know a little bit more about one of the most deep, popular, and shooty roguelikes in the gaming world. But with just how deep this game is, keep searching. You'll never know what you might find in Enter the Gungeon. There might even be a second gun down there. So keep traversing the Gungeon to kill your past, seeking out the next big discovery. And until then, happy gaming! Thank you so much for watching. Check out the rest of the 10 Things You Missed playlist for more of the only factual series on the internet. And make sure to subscribe for new episodes of 10 Things You Missed, as well as other weekly shows such as Dollar Store Gaming and Game Boy Roulette. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.